I can't believe it's taken me so long to share this video with you guys. And that is, what's in my personal makeup bag? What are the products that I reach for the absolute most for myself? Let's get into my makeup bag essentials. So first of all, I have two bags. But the main bag that I reach for is my little Chantikai makeup bag. Now they gave this bag to me a long time ago and it's been through a lot. I shove a lot of products in here. I'm actually on the lookout for a new makeup bag. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. So this is stuff to the brim. But these are the products that if I am headed out of town or I'm just on the go, these are the products I go for. And I do my makeup in the car a lot. So very organized, right? All right. My new Chanel makeup mirror. I love this bright orange. It has a magnifying mirror on one side and then just your basic mirror on the other side. And I reach for it all the time. And then I have my favorite mascara, Dior Over Curl. Has the little, what I like to call, happy face. And for those of you that don't know how to use this mascara, one quick tip if you don't want to like go back and forth where the happy face is at come in at an angle place it at the lash line and blink into it it will help to reinforce the curl because it's got that shape to match the actual curve of your eye but you can also do the rainbow side to lift and then grab um, the lashes at the base with the smiley face side to add volume and length my lip gloss I love these. These are by Dior and honestly, the Dior lip glosses are my go-to and the Chanel lip glosses, but they have a very different feel and look to them. So Dior is sexy and Chanel is classy, if that makes any sense. They both look good, but when I reach for my Chanel, they're not as wet looking. They are a little more reserved in their shimmer factor and they don't have that lip plumping tingle feel that the maximizers have from Dior. And so I definitely think about what my look is going to be when I reach for my Dior or for my Chanel. That said, this is such a beautiful lip product. This is the lip glow oil hydrating gives the most juicy lip look. I do like to wear it on top of lipsticks. I'm gonna add another layer here. It has the most incredibly comfortable applicator. This doe foot feels like putting wet velvet across your lips. Let's take a look at the next product here, Hourglass. I have it on my lids from here to the center. And this is the Hourglass Shattered Light in the color Ray. I find this looks good on absolutely everyone. So I have one in my kit too. If you are light, medium to deep skin tones, simply gorgeous. And if you are medium to deep skin tones, just, just get it. It looks incredible on your skin tone. The Byredo, this is the Ambivalent Cran Cajol. These are so incredible to quickly put on the lid or to run in the water line. And I learned this tip that I'm going to show you guys from a beautiful woman from the Middle East. She had real Cajol and I was putting mine on and she said, no, no, you got to place it in the eye water line and close your eye and then just run it back and forth really quickly. And then you can take a Q-tip or your finger and quickly blend. And it just creates the most beautiful look. So these are fantastic. They do not move, not as soft as the Victoria Beckham. You can see they're a little drier, but if you want a budge proof eyeliner, this is it. All right, next, the Dior powder. This powder is a matte powder and I am combination dry, but this matte powder is just so beautiful. And if you have dry skin, you can use a brush, but I love that this comes with a dual sided puff sponge so on one side's velvet so it doesn't pick up very much product and the other side's the sponge i love that this comes out it's replaceable or refillable excuse me um the powder is just beautiful bright buttery very light in texture and i just absolutely love how it makes my skin look and it softens the pores if you are oily you're gonna love this powder and if you're dry that's a good one too. Now this next one I talk about so often that I'm sure most of you guys are actually tired of hearing about it, but I just love it. And since I'm showing you what's in my makeup bag, I'm gonna show you guys again, because these are always with me. Doesn't matter what the color is, I always have one. And I have, I believe every color, maybe one or two I don't have, but I think I have all of them. This is in the color Lila, and this is by far to me besides sculpting and transparent. It's a transparent, translucent. Anyways, it's a clear one by Chanel. 
This Lila Balm Stick is so beautiful. And it's one of my favorites because it's got a little bit of lavender in it, coloring wise. And so it brightens the skin. Even if you don't have a dull, lackluster skin, it still manages obviously to make the skin look really healthy and bright and glowy. And whether you're light, medium or deep skin tones, this just really does a wonderful job at waking up the complexion. And I've talked about this consistently. The Balm Essential Sticks are wonderful for putting on all over the face before you put your makeup on, for using as a highlighter. You can use it on your lips. You can use it on your chest, your body. You can use it as just a hydrating balm. You can just do anything with it. So these are a must for my makeup bag and for my kit. All right, the next product might surprise you guys because I have been a tried and true and loyal brow lover of the Tarte Brow Sketch and Set, and I still use it, but I've been switching it up a bit with two other products. And you guys may not believe this, but it is absolutely the truth, and that is I am loving the NYX Brow Glue because it's really light. It doesn't grab too much pigment and it's easy to just throw it on with the brow sketch and set it gives me a really beautiful rich brow it stays on all day it's fantastic but i have to take a little time with it so if i'm in a hurry and i want a more natural brow look i grab this and then i go in and detail it with the this is i believe the charlotte tilbury brow cheat but i want to see the color here natural black um Charlotte Tilbury pencil just to kind of give me a little bit of the you know brow hair stroke look and so loving these so easy to use my new favorite eyelash curler that I cannot rave about enough is the Chanel eyelash curler it has the tightest grip when you go and push it against the lash line and it really holds the curl really really well the other ones that i've used for years is the kevin aquan and shiseido but the chanel has come in first place for me and then i'd say right behind that is kevin aquan and shiseido all right this next one is an absolute must never do without found it relatively recently because it's a newer product but oh they better never get rid of it this makeup forever hd skin I could literally just take this on set with a couple other products and do a whole makeup look. It does everything. You do highlighting, contour, you can do concealer, cream foundation, sheer it out to create a tinted moisturizer, build it up to create a full coverage. It's just the best, most convenient, awesome thing ever. Next is the Makeup Forever pencil, and this is in the color Wherever Walnut. And I talk about these quite consistently as well. These are known as makeup artist favorites because they are that good. There's a reason why we all love these because you can use them anywhere on the face. They don't move. They photograph beautifully. They have a matte finish, but they go on very creamy. They're just incredible. And whenever I wear this and I marry it with the essential lip balm on my lips, you guys ask, what are you wearing? And I get stopped on the street. People are always asking me what's on your lips. And it's those two. All right, next is the lipstick I reach for consistently. And this one might surprise you because it surprised me because I have really expensive, beautiful lipsticks, you know, Louboutin and Clay de Poe and Chanel and Bond and all that stuff. But I reach for my Estee Lauder Color Envy so often. In fact, I'm running out of it. It's going down. It was much longer. Um, this is in the color untamable and this is another one you guys always ask about it is a refillable lipstick but it's the color that i love it's hard to find these kind of pink warm colors that aren't too muted and make you look tired so i put a little bit of this on and i add it to my cheeks and it's just like a quick great pick me up for my complexion and then lastly I have is my new favorite cheek product. And this is the Tata Harper Lovely Cream Blush. It is so pretty. Let's put some on now. Just, I love it so much. It just has the perfect flush. And I did use this on a client who is medium deep skin tone and it looked lovely on her. So if you do have a medium deeper skin tone, I know it looks a little light, but it's got quite a color kick to it. It looks really beautiful. It just gives a natural Victorian flush. Actually, not really Victorian because Victorians didn't wear that coloring. I'd say it's Baroque. 
style cheek stain. Mm, so, so pretty. All right, so that's the first bag that I have. Let's get into the second bag, which is my backup bag. If I'm traveling or if I am thinking like, oh, what if I don't have a dark lipstick or something a little more bold or I need a little extra this or that, that's in this bag. The first bag that I went over all these products with you guys is really like my essentials. And as you can see, there's a color theme here. It's all pretty natural and pretty light, especially if I'm meeting a client or going on set. If I come in and I have had this happen repeatedly and I have dark lipstick on or dark makeup on, people instantly get a little timid because um, most of us like natural makeup. I totally understand. As a makeup artist, I like all styles of makeup, but most people want something that's just everyday um, beautiful. So I really think about when I'm meeting a client, not going over the top. And this is a tip for you makeup artists out there. You know, less is more when you're meeting a client because people can't help but associate your makeup that you're wearing with what they think that you're going to do to them. So something to note whether it's you know a popular opinion or not i think everyone should be able to you know be the most expressive best version of themselves but as a makeup artist i have definitely noticed that people get a little timid if you have too much color on at least in the first introduction of meeting them so something to note out there makeup artists before i go into the second bag i want to show you guys two incredible products for brushes though my chanel makeup brush set that came with the mirror and all that good stuff um that came out and hopefully is going to come back hopefully for holiday because these are incredible gift sets i mean people are going to love them so here's hoping they bring them back um but there is three brushes in here and a nail file so i grab this it's so convenient when i am in a hurry and it has everything that i would ever need it's a blush brush a foundation brush and a dual ended eyeshadow brush you can just do your whole makeup with what's in here but if you don't have that, I do have a backup option and I love this. I was looking for a little quick brush kit similar to size as this and I found this on Amazon and it's just a great little pouch that opens up. It's got a cute little stamp to show that your brushes are supposed to go in there, but this is fantastic. It's easy to clean. You can store so many brushes in here. I have my tweezers in there. I've stored up to 15 to 20 brushes in here, um, depending on the size. And it's absolutely great for travel. I just stick it in my bag and wipe it down when I need to. So great option. All right, now let's get into bag number two, the backup bag. Now I've stuffed this one as well, but I got all my goodies in here. So let's start off with some blushes, lipsticks, and cream shadows. So the Hindash, these are the color fluids. These are incredible. These are an artist's dream. They're creamy matte, they stain the skin, they don't move, they photograph beautifully. There are five or six different shades, but what's so nice is that you can mix these colors and create so many different looks. They're meant to be used all over the face. So I use them often as a blush, mix a little bit extra, put it on my lips, and I'll even tap a little my eyes. When I wear these, you guys ask what's on my face. All right, next is a concealer, and this is my Dior Forever Skin Concealer. Now this one and my Tom Ford Concealer are my favorites. I like my Tom Ford better, but I can't find it anywhere. So I'll reach for this as my backup. Now I didn't use any concealer in my first kit because I have my Makeup Forever HD, which works really well. But if I want a little extra coverage or I don't want to use any products in my face, sometimes I'll just use concealer and a little blush. I'll reach for this. The next product that I love, especially if I'm in a hurry, is the Dream Beam Comfy Smooth SPF 40 by Casas. Casas is a great brand, you guys, if you haven't tried it, especially for those of you who like hydration. Products that a lot of younger people like don't usually work with me because it's not geared to have enough hydration. Not so with this product. Their lip balm's fantastic, and so is their concealer. Next, sometimes you just need a color corrector, and I use the NARS, and this is the Radiant Creamy Color Corrector in the color Light. Absolutely love this. You're probably seeing a theme here, which is concealer, foundation, just basically anything that's going to brighten my skin and cover dark spots, dark circles, etc. I always usually have a couple of those kind of products near me or in my makeup bag. Next is a bronzer because I didn't have a bronzer in the other one because I used the Makeup Forever HD as my bronzer. There are several colors in there that you can mix to create your own bronzer, but sometimes I just want a quick powder bronzer, especially if I want to create a quick suntan look. The Victoria Beckham is fantastic because it has 
two different colors. So I can either mix these to customize a color or I can use this one in winter, fall, or I can head to this one in spring and summer. Um, but the formula and the finish on these is a dream come true. The other two that I really love is the Charlotte Tilbury and I really like the Dior as well. I'm gonna grab three products now because they're all in the same family and these are the Makeup Forever Artist Sticks. They're just like the other one that I showed you, the Wherever Walnut. This one is in Up and Down Tan, another favorite you guys ask about all the time. This is in Anywhere Caffeine, great for those of you who like a little bit more of that espresso lip look. My medium to deep skin clients, this one is perfect for you. And then I have the Limitless Brown, which is beautiful as an eyeliner. It's also great on the cheeks to contour. But then again, if you want that darker lip look, that kind of chocolate espresso lip liner, this is beautiful. Or if you have medium to deep skin tones, this will look lovely on you for a more natural look. All right, last two products. The Casas Lip Balm, like I was telling you guys, just so, so, so good. And then my backup dark lipstick. And I go between putting this one in my bag. Once again, this is Estee Lauder Color MB. And no, this is not sponsored. They didn't send this to me. I'm not trying to tell you guys to get these because honestly, they don't have the best smell, but I love the finish on these. Um, this is in the color 686. This is Midnight Kiss. And... It's just such a sexy, vampy lip color. I just love the sheen on it. I love how plummy and deep and rich it is. There is a color by Tom Ford that's similar to this. And there's also a color by Bond 9. Um, but I, you know what it is? I just realized I don't bring my really nice lipsticks in my makeup bags, I usually keep them in my purse. And I will show you guys actually a couple of products that I keep in my purse because I have like a powder in there. Some of my luxury lipsticks are in there, my perfumes in there. So I will show you guys those because I just realized right now I have all these beautiful lipsticks and nothing wrong obviously with Estee Lauder, but I have some really beautiful luxury lipsticks, but I don't keep them in my makeup bag. They're in my purse. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, having a bit of a sneak peek in my makeup bag. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to go ahead and subscribe. Use the affiliate links down below to help support the content. Hit that thumbs up and feel free to leave me a comment. If you guys would like to see a little more information, whether that be artistry, education, or entertainment, you could head to TikTok or to Instagram, and you can also go to shrewvoyage.com to take a look at my portfolio, as well as book me for a one-on-one. -on -one. All right, everyone, as always, thank you so much for watching and continue to take care of you, each other, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone. <laughs>